with us tonight, folks. Thanks for watching. Today is International Women's Day, and guess how the Republicans in Congress celebrated the occasion? They debated a bill to restrict abortion rights for women. It's yet another bill criminalizing doctors who perform abortions. The 12 female Democrats in the Senate, well, they've had enough. In a letter to Speaker Boehner, they wrote, it's time for you to put up an end to the attacks on women's health care and to work with the Senate to get back to the American people's top priority, creating jobs and boosting our economy. The war on women's health care is taking place really all over the country when you look at it, at every level of government. Last year, this is an astounding number, last year more than 1,100 reproductive health restrictions were introduced in all 50 states. Restrictions to abortion rights skyrocketed to record levels in 2011. Nine states, count them, nine states voted to reduce funding for family planning programs. Texas reduced its reproductive health budget 66%. Six states passed restrictions on family planning funds. New Hampshire prevented Planned Parenthood from receiving Title X funding. This goes back to 1970, Title X. Today in Atlanta, eight women in the Georgia Senate walked out of the chamber in protest as Republicans passed restrictions on contraceptive funding and abortion services. Here come the right-wing shock troops marching, 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 and women are on the bullseye target. It's not just Democratic lawmakers who are fed up. New York State Assemblywoman Teresa Sayward is a Republican who is retiring from office this year. I do not have a favorite in presidential race. If I had to vote today, I'd vote for Obama. Really? Absolutely. Wow. I think there are a number of people in your party who would I'll be, be surprised to hear that. <laughs> Why? Because I, I really truly think that the candidates that are out there today for, um, for on the Republican side would take women back 